Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about using the distributive property. We want to simplify each expression. So if I was given this expression, negative 4 minus 3n times a negative 8. Okay? So negative 4 minus 3n times a negative 8. Well, again, let's look at our parentheses. Is there any way we can simplify that? And the answer is no. Right? They're not the like terms. So now we have multiplication on the outside with a, a negative 8. Be careful. It's not minus 8. It's multiplied by a negative 8. That negative 8 needs to be distributed to both parts inside the parentheses. So now we have negative 8 times a negative 4. That comes out to be a positive number, right? Two negatives make a positive, And that positive number is 32. So we have a positive 32, right? Negative 8 times a negative 4 is a positive 32. We, excuse me, you bring down this negative. All right, I'm put the minus sign down here. Sorry, the minus sign. Now I have negative 8 times 3n. Well, negative 8 times 3n is a negative 24n. Well, now I have a minus a negative here, okay? Minus a negative going on. So I have 32 minus a negative 24n. We know that minusing a negative is adding a positive. So our final answer, writing it cleanly, is 32 plus 24n. And there we go. They're not like terms. We can't combine them. So again, let's recap. We couldn't combine anything inside the parentheses because they're not like terms. The negative 8 times the negative 4 came out to be a positive 32 because two negatives make a positive in multiplication. We brought down the minus sign. Now we have 8. Uh, negative 8 times negative 3, I'm oh, sorry, positive 3n, which is a negative 24n. But then we, uh, the two negatives, uh, minus a negative, made up adding a positive, same thing. So now we had 32 plus 24n. And again, this is a much cleaner way to write it.